Good morning, everyone. Is anyone out there? All right, if anyone's out there watching, give me a comment. Say hi, let me know. My microphone and video and all that is working. Um, anyway, this is Sunday. It's 11 o'clock. It's time for Xterra Connect. Uh, today, I'm Susie Snyder, in case any of you don't know me. Um, I hope you've been tuning into all the Xterra Connect sessions. This year, we've had a lot of um, variety, I guess, in terms of workouts and informational content and um, all of the, you know, Xterra tribe coming together and sharing our knowledge and energy and just uh, trying to stay connected with each other since we can't be together in person. Um, so today we are sponsored by Athletic Brewing Company um, and I want to give them a big shout out and wish them luck um, as they journey across the United States. They are doing a bike relay from their original brewery in Stratford, Connecticut, pretty close to where I used to live, um, all the way to San Diego, California, to their new uh, or newest brewery. And um, they are, yeah, they're midway. You can track their journey um, at, what is it, athletic, athleticbrewingcompany.com. Um, they are, you know, trying to live more just like the rest of us in the Xterra tribe. Um, so they, uh, they're sponsoring today's session and hope they're doing well in their journey. Um, so today I'm going to take you through a little strength workout. It's just going to be body weight exercises, um, lunges, some jumps, you know, low level stuff, not, um, not too strenuous and you're not going to need any equipment. So if you're ready, let's get started. If you all have any questions um, throughout the workout, just write them in to the comment section. I will try to keep an eye on it. I can sort of see it, um, but I'll try and check the, the comment section every now and again. Um, but we're going to jump right into it. So welcome to my home workout room. Um, OK, let's start with a dynamic warm up. So get yourself a little space. Um, we're going to start easy, gradually warm the body up with some dynamic movements and um, gradually progress up into a little bit of intensity right into the workout. Um, so like I said, you don't need any any equipment or anything, maybe just a water bottle to stay hydrated throughout. We'll take some water breaks, don't worry. Okay, let's start with some squats. Let's go body weight, just hips back and down. You can bring your arms out front for balance. Just drive those knees out. Keep the weight in your heels. Think about dropping your butt between your heels. Chest up, abs, a little bit engaged, so you have a little tension there. Okay, I'll do a couple more. One more, and up. And we're going to do a reverse lunge. So take your right leg, step backwards, sink down to the floor with your hands. So one hand is on the side of each foot. Take your left hand, reach forward, and then up. So you're rotating your chest towards your left knee. And then bring that hand back down to the floor. Bring your chest up and step forward, standing up. Now same thing on the other side. Left leg steps back. Hands to the floor, either side of your foot. Right arm reaches forward, rotate up. Come back down to the floor, chest up. 
stand up. Same thing, other side. Right leg back, reach, rotate, and up. Left leg back, reach forward, rotate, back to the floor, chest up, stand up. One more each side, right leg back, chest down, and up, left leg back, right arm forward, rotate, back to the floor, stand up. Okay, we're gonna go to inchworms. So starting in a push-up position, or high plank. We're gonna start by doing a uh, like a yoga chaturanga. So you're gonna lower your chest to the floor and then into an up dog. So chest up, squeeze your glutes, press your hips forward. Now hips up to down dog. Legs straight, walk your toes forward towards your hands so you can't keep your legs straight any longer. Then you're gonna step back to plank and do it again. So down through chaturanga, up dog, down dog, inchworm forward. We're gonna do five of these. Step back, high plank, down and up, up dog, inchworm forward, step back, down and up. Up to down dog, and turn forward. Step back. Last one. Down and up. Hips up, and turn forward. And relax. Now drop your hips down into a squat. Press your knees out with your elbows. Try and keep your heels down on the floor as best you can. Just press those knees out and then relax and then press. It's gonna give you a little bit of a stretch or a lot of a stretch through your inner thigh. Relax and push. Relax and push, last one. Good, stand up. All right, we're gonna stand on one leg I'm gonna go left leg, keep your chest upright, and take your right leg, um, so your left leg that you're standing on, keep a little bit of bend in the knee. Your right leg, I'm gonna pull your toe back. I want you to straighten that leg and then lift your heel out at 45 degrees. So you're gonna, we're just gonna do some lifts here. You're going to start to feel your butt burn a little bit. This is going to warm up the glutes really well. Glutes are not only important for strength, but also for stability. Especially when you run, these lateral glutes provide all this or a lot of stability. Okay, relax, switch legs. So standing on the right leg, slight bend in the knee, left leg straight. You can rotate your toe out a little bit and start lifting that heel back. You might feel a little bit of burn in the glute on the standing leg too. Almost done, five more seconds. And rest, okay. All right, take the arms out to the side. Let's get the shoulders going a little bit. Okay, arms straight, but shoulders relaxed. Thumbs up, and I want you to just flutter your arms forward to back. This is called shoulder burn circuit. If you've done Xterra Connect with me before, you've probably done this. This is a good little shoulder warm up. 
Gonna get those rotator cuff muscles firing, the deltoids, and ooh, starting to burn already. Turn your thumbs down. Make sure you keep your traps relaxed. Don't start shrugging up to your ears as you get tired. Turn your thumbs forward, pinkies back. Okay, let's make some circles, small circles. And backwards, turn the thumbs up. Keep the arms nice and straight. Pull the shoulder blades together in the middle of your back. And now hold. Make a fist, squeeze real tight. Should be burning. Definitely burning over here. Almost done. Five seconds, three, two, one, done. Oh, okay. All right, so we're gonna do some circuits. The first round, um, they're all gonna be very similar. Some exercises are gonna be the same, some are gonna be different. Um, the first set here, we're gonna do a split squat, right into scissor jumps, and then into uh, right into a split squat on the other side, finishing with scissor jumps. So don't start yet, this is just a demo. We're gonna do right leg, which way can you see by the best? Okay, right leg forward, left leg back. Split squat simply means you're going up and down in a squat, not switching your legs. Okay, we're gonna do 40 seconds of this. After 40 seconds, we're gonna do jump, jump, jump. As you land on your left leg, after three jumps, we're gonna go into 40 seconds of split squats on the left side. After 40 seconds, jump, jump, jump. So it's three jumps on the right leg, right into the left, finishing three jumps on the left leg. Whew, gonna get your heart rate up a little bit, um, especially the jump part. On the split squat, I want you to really focus on driving your heel of this front leg into the floor so that you feel your glute and hamstring really supporting you as you um, press up and down. On your back leg, your heel is up and you're on the ball of your foot, just using that for balance, letting that hip, the left hip stay open and back. Um, how far back you can go is going to depend on your flexibility. So everyone's going to be different there. Okay, I'm going to grab a drink of water. Okay. We're going to start with that. Let's reset my timer. Okay, everyone ready? 40 seconds. Right leg forward. Three, two, one, and go. Go nice and smooth, controlled tempo. You can go at your own pace. You don't have to go at my pace. You can go faster, slower, however you feel. Make sure the knee of this front leg doesn't shoot forward past your toes. It's gonna put more stress on your quad than we want. We want all the muscles to work. In five seconds, we're gonna do those three jumps. Two, one, jump, jump, jump. Land on left leg and squat. Good, nice continuous motion. If you need to stop and rest, that's okay. Just go at your own pace. Almost done. 10 seconds. 
Remember, we're finishing with those three jumps. Two, one, jump, 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 and rest. Oh, those quads feel a little, little jelly-like at the end. Okay, we're gonna take one 40-second cycle of rest and go into clock walk with push-up exercise. So here's a demo for you. We're gonna start in a plank position, high plank. Keep your glutes real tight, legs straight. We're gonna take three steps with the hands to the right. One, two, three. Do a push-up. Now one, two, three steps back to the left. Push up, now three steps to the left. Push up, back to the right, so on and so forth. We're just gonna repeat that for 40 seconds, just continuous. Three steps, push up, three steps, push ups, okay? If you need to modify this, um, just drop your knees down to the floor for the push up if the push up is too hard. And again, go at your own pace. So starting in five seconds. Three, two, one, go. Three steps. Three, push up. Three steps. Two, three, push up. To the left. One, two, three, push up. To the right. One, two, three, push up. To the right. One, two, three, push up. To the left. One, two, three, push up to the left. One, two, three, push up to the right. One, two, three, push up to the right. One, and rest. All right. Uh, stay on the floor. We're gonna do some uh, high plank knee to elbow crunches. So, this is your demonstration, don't start yet. Again, high plank position or push-up position. Keep your left leg strong and straight. Left glute is tight. Pick up your right foot. Pull your right knee to the left elbow. Pause for two seconds. Bring it back, set it down. Lift your left knee, pull it forward. Pause for two seconds with the right elbow. Bring it back, set it down. Okay, we're gonna do just constantly repeating, um, alternating knee to elbow crunches for 40 seconds. So, we're gonna start in 20 seconds. Ten. Okay, are you ready? Five. Three, two, one, go. Again, you can go at your own pace. I want you to keep that supporting leg really strong by squeezing the glute. Keep your shoulders stable. Don't shift them side to side. Don't bend the elbows. Just use as abs to pull that knee up. Keep breathing. This is a slow and controlled exercise. One more rep. Rest. Take a knee, stay on the floor. We're going to half dead bugs next. So you're gonna lie on your back. You're gonna have arms straight up over your chest, knees straight up over your hips. Half dead bug, you're gonna keep um, right and left arm, or right arm and left leg where they are. Drop your left arm over your head, extend your right leg towards the floor, and then pull back up. And then same thing with the opposite side, and up. So make sure your belly button is pulled down real tight to the floor before you start. We wanna keep your Low back flat on the floor, no arch or space between your back and the floor. Okay, you should feel that pressure and the tension in your abs here. 
Okay, so we're going to go 40 seconds, alternating sides. Ready, set, go. So you're going to extend, pause, lift up. Extend, pause, lift up. <clears throat> Good. Keep tension. Cure. Keep the leg that's extending active. So press or pull your toes up towards your shin and press your heel away from your body. Reach long with the arm like you're trying to extend your body from foot to fingers. Three, two, one, rest. And that's the end of set one. So let's take a little breather, grab a drink of water, and we're gonna go through a second set. This time it's gonna be a little bit different, but a little bit of the same. So we're gonna start with a lateral lunge, alternating, into a skater jump, so which is a lateral bound. So your lateral lunges, we're gonna alternate for 40 seconds. You're gonna step to the side, back to the center, side, back to the center. So we're gonna do this for 40 seconds. Right into lateral jump, 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 for 10 reps, five each side. Okay, in that lateral lunge, let's keep the foot both heels or both feet flat on the floor. Sink down, butt towards your heel. Knee out wide so it doesn't collapse in. Okay, keep it out wide. Drive off hard like a, um, a good hard lunge. After we do that, we're gonna do the hand walk with a push-up. But after the push-up, we're gonna integrate the knee to elbow crunches. So one each side and then hand walk, um, push up, crunch, crunch, hand walk, push up, crunch, crunch, and then half dead bug with a little bit of self resistance to make it harder. Okay, hope you got all that. <laughs> okay, starting in five seconds, lateral lunges for 40, two, one, go. Lunge and push. Lunge and push, sink, push, push, good. A little bit of tension through the core, keeping that chest up. Your hands can come forward for balance. Push, again, you can go at your own pace. Keep breathing. Five seconds. Okay, jump. So left leg, jump onto your right leg. Stick it, jump side to side. Two, three, four, five. Rest. Whew. Okay. Right into walks with push up in 10 seconds. Okay, five. Deep breath. Go. Three steps to the right. Push up. Knee to elbow, both sides. Three steps to the left. Push up. Knee to elbow, three steps to the left, push up, crunch, crunch, three steps, push up, crunch, three steps, one, two, three, crunch, crunch, three steps, one, two, three, push up, Crunch. Let's finish out. Three more. One, two, three. Push up. 
crunch, crunch. One more time. One, two, three. Push up, crunch, crunch, and we're done. Take a knee and a deep breath. Woo! Good job. That was a hard combo. Okay. To the dead bug. Okay, on your back, just like the first dead bug. But this time, we're going to create a little self resistance. So, as you extend one leg, you're going to take your hand to the opposite knee and press against it so that this knee can press into the hand. Your hand is pressing into the knee. So, you're pushing and pulling, and then release. Extend, push, pull. Release. So you're alternating size extension, just like we were doing on the first set. But now we're adding in that isometric, um, the isometric contraction of the push pull knee against hand to increase the difficulty on the abdominals. Um, so again, keeping your low back real flat down flush on the floor so that your back doesn't arch up. 40 seconds. Ready? Three, two, one, and go. So extend, push, and switch. So you're going to do about a two-second pause with that isometric push-pull. You should really feel that tension increase in your abs as you create that resistance. If that feels like too much for you and your back starts to come off the floor, just stick with the regular half dead bug and rest. Oh, deep breath. That's the end of set number two. Get a drink, and we're going to go to set number three. So on this one, we're going to do bodyweight squats for 40 seconds. So just like in warm-up, feet, shoulder width, or whatever, um, whatever width is comfortable for you. We're just going to go squat, extend. Squeeze the glutes on the extension. When you stand up, sorry, <laughs> we're going to squat, extend, squeeze your glutes at the very top so you're getting full hip extension. So 40 seconds of that. And then we'll go straight into five jumps. Two, three. So it's the same exact motion. We're just adding power component to it. So every time you land from a jump, I want you to go to land, toe, sink down to your heels, sink your hips towards your heels, extend, heel, toe, opposite all the way down, okay? So we're absorbing the landing with the ankles, knees, and hips, and then exploding up with the ankles, knees, and hips. Okay, so that's 40 seconds and five reps. And then same thing with the clock walk, push up, dead um, knee to elbow crunch. That's gonna be about a minute. And then finishing off with full dead bug. Okay, ready? 40 seconds, squats. Three, two, one, and go. So control it up or control it down, power it up. Really drive your heels into the floor so that you can press your knees out. You're getting even work through the quads, glutes, hamstrings, all those big leg muscles. Fifteen seconds. Five seconds, right into jumps, go, 
two, three, four, five. Good. Rest. Shake it out. We're going to go into clock walks. We'll start in 20. Okay. Deep breath. Same as last time. Three steps to the right. Push up. Knee to elbow crunch each leg. Three steps to the left. Ready, go. One, two, three. Remember keeping those glutes tight for stability. Belly button to spine. So you have flat back. Really no side to side movement. Back to the right. To the right again. Crunch. To the left. Two, three. To the left. One, two, three. Crunch. Back to the right. One, two, three. And crunch. Crunch. Done. Woo. Okay. Good job. That's a hard one. I'm breathing hard. Uh, last exercise. Ready? Full dead bug. On this one, we're going to, okay, pause for a second. I want you to only do this full dead bug if you can do the half dead bug and the resisted half dead bug um, really well through that whole 40 seconds. So you didn't feel your back arching up off the floor at all and you felt like you were able to maintain that tight um, abdominal isometric contraction through the whole 40 seconds. So if towards the end of that last set you felt like you were struggling to hold that um, form, stay with that version. If you want to make it harder, progress to the full dead bug. And this is full dead bug. So starting with belly button to spine, so your low back comes down flat to the floor. Again, arms up over your chest. We're going to extend both the arms and the legs at the same time while keeping your low back down flat on the floor and up. So you're going to extend, pause, pull back in. So the lower you go with your hands and legs, the harder it's going to be. So you can start with a short range of motion to feel it out first and then progress a little lower as you feel comfortable and strong enough. We're going to do this for 40 seconds. Ready? Three, two, one, and go. And if you want to take it up a notch to really squeeze your feet together so you have not only are you pressing your heels out away from your chest and you're feeling tension lengthwise, you're also feeling that tension medial. So you're squeezing towards the center of your body. Arms are long and strong and straight. Last one. Back in and rest. Okay, I am sweating. I should have brought a fan out. Man. All right. Let's stretch it out a little bit. Let's do a, one of my favorite favorites is pigeon pose. So we're going to go knee up right behind the hand. If you're in a push-up position, pull your knee up right behind the hand. Back leg goes straight and just press your hips down towards the floor. 
lift that chest up. Should feel, oh, excuse me, should feel the stretch over this back leg that's straight. So your hip is in extension here. And the more you lift your chest, the more you get a stretch through that hip and into the psoas. So let's hold this. You could also, depending on your flexibility and tightness, you should be getting a glute stretch on this front hip. So this is a combo stretch for the for both legs. Posterior on the right side, anterior on the left side. And it feels really good on both sides. <laughs> So, okay, hold that for another couple of seconds. Check the feed for comments here. Whew. I don't see anything going on. I hope, hope all is well. Okay, let's switch sides. Left side, so left knee forward. Drop the right, so right leg is straight behind you. <clears throat> Keep your chest up, press the right hip forward towards your left foot. And hold. If you can squeeze the glute on this back leg, the straight leg, you get more stretch in the front of that hip. If you don't feel like your flexibility allows you to get down low like this, you can put a yoga block or a ball or something, pillow underneath your left hip so that um, it's a little bit of a prop, kind of props you up and supports you as you um, as your body kind of sinks into the stretch and you can kind of work into it instead of forcing it. So the longer you hold the stretch, the more your body will relax into it. So my hip, my left hip is down onto the floor now where it was definitely up a few inches when I started. You just have to relax and breathe and your body will kind of let go of that protective mechanism and sink into it as it realizes that it's, it's okay. All right, relax. Swing your feet in front of you. We're going to pull the shoulders, put your hands, palms, um, on the floor behind you. So your fingers are pointing backwards. I want you to pull your shoulders back. So you're kind of pressing your chest, lifting your chest up to the ceiling. You don't want a lot of weight on your hands. You're not trying to lean back on your hands. You're keeping your chest lifted so you can squeeze your shoulder blades together behind you. And that's gonna give you a stretch across your chest and shoulders, down your biceps, if that feels good and not too difficult, you can walk your fingers back a little to extend your shoulders a little more. Keep lifting, chin up a little bit, just keeping your neck in line. Feels good. Let's go 10 more seconds. And relax, you can come out of that. All right. So that's been about a 40 minute workout. I hope everyone enjoyed it.
got a little sweat on. I sure did. Um, I'm not seeing any comments on the page here, so I don't know what that's about because normally I can see some comments coming in. Um, so I hope all is well. Um, maybe I'll comment and see if that does anything. Um, but anyways, I want you all to go, um, well, start by enjoying the rest of your Sunday. Um, and then go check out athleticbrewingcompany.com. See where they're at on their journey across the country. Send them a, uh, a big hi and a well wishes from the Xterra tribe. And um, check out where you can buy your own Athletic Brewing Company non-alcoholic beer. Um, and give them a big cheers with your next pint. <laughs> All right, guys. Um, have a happy Sunday. I will see you again, hopefully in the near future. Aloha.